back. Once again, I couldn't sleep. So I thought about reviewing this video by Frank Blasquez. Forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. Uh, it happens to be one of my favorite go-to videos to chill, relax. I don't know, but let's review this right now. It should be interesting. I was born and raised in El Paso, Texas, and I'm from Westside 18th Street, Malandro's Clip. For me, it's cool because you got the border like right next to it and shit. You can go to parties, a bunch of Mexicans and shit, you know. You barely see like white people, unless you're in the West Side, yeah. You see a lot of white people and rich people and shit. But like over there in Central, Northeast, there's a lot of Mexicans. So like I feel comfortable, you know. That's dope. Right now, I'm 18. My big homies, they jumped me in when I was 15. I was gonna get it like when I was 13, but I was like, hold on, let me think about it. Yeah, I've jumped like little homies too, and then I've seen all the fools get jumped in. There's some that can't hang? Yeah, there's some that can't hang for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy because they be covering their face and shit, or like they just drop and shit. But nah, nah, for me, like, I kept that shit for real. Like, I was hitting back, you know? For sure. I'm always gonna be a gangbanger, you know? I'm always gonna be active. I know I am, but I just try to move differently, you know? Like, try to not do, like, crash dummy shit, you know? Like, little kid shit. Yeah, that's one thing here in El Paso, for sure. There's a lot of crash dummy kids, like, there's a lot of kids that, you know, like, oh, they wanna see, they wanna be like, oh, yeah, I'm cool, this and that, I'm crazy. And then go rob a store, no mask, you know? They're not, like, they're not, they're not laced up, right, you know? So that's why there's a little, like, got a palos over here in El Paso. For sure, yeah, 18 she's like my family. It's my family, you know? Sometimes even where my parents weren't there, the homies were there, you know? Getting in 18th Street, before you even get jumped in, you gotta bang that shit to the fullest, you know? Like, like if there's no tomorrow type shit, you know? So you can show that you're really down for the hood. Once you're down for the hood, yeah, you're in for life. There's no going back. Yeah, it's for forever. It's real out there. Wow. Here in El Paso, usually the ones that do, a, like, let's say, check you out type shit, like gangbanging, like where you from, it's usually like the older heads. So all the times that I've been checked out, like the, the fools that be asking me where I'm from is older fools, like. I guess OGs, I don't know, like big fools, and then, I mean, I tell them what they're from, but, you know, I always, I always got something on me, so I, they pretty much just back out of it. Now that I'm in, yeah, I guess I, I move different. I'm not like how I used to, cause how, like, when I was 15, uh, like, I, I just wanted to get into some shit, you know, I wanted to make my name pop out, you know, make a, make a name for myself, I guess. Um, and then now, I, I feel like I don't really have to that much. So I just kind of move calm, you know, take things slow, and then, you know, just keep it like that. When I was like in first grade, I remember seeing the, like the homies. I was uh, best friends with the little brother, so it was like I kind of, I kind of knew them when I would hang out with the, with my homie, you know, their little brother. So like, I kind of just like kept hanging with them and then, I started kicking it with his brothers, with the homies. And then I started kicking it more and more and then they let me get in, you know? And I was like, yeah, and I got in. Gotta keep putting in work, you know? Representing where you're from, wherever you go. You know, half stepping, stay solid and just keep it like that forever. Hasta la muerte. Yeah, pretty much you can't be afraid of, of, of getting shot or dying if you're gonna be in 18th Street because that's just big possibilities that can happen to you. I don't really feel scared. I mean, it could happen to anyone, to be honest, whether you're in a gang or not. I guess that's why I really, I don't really get scared. I guess it doesn't really bother me thinking about, I could get shot, I don't know. Just, it doesn't really bother me like that. Like other people, it would, it probably would bother them, but I don't know, not to me. That's, that's raw right there, right? I mean, it hurts, like when you see your mom cry, it's like probably like one of the worst things. I've seen or been through. Now I try to think more about my mom, you know, things, do things better, you know. 
Would you die for the hood? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I would die for the hood. I mean, I'm doing, I've done all kinds of shit, you know. So yeah, pretty much I would die for the hood. Cause it's like, it's like you know, you, it's like being a soldier. You know, you gotta protect the hood. You know, uh, protect the hood and keep it alive. You can't, you can't um, can't take no disrespect. It's like you selling your soul, you know, to the hood. If I was in a situation where I knew I was gonna die, be at peace with yourself those final seconds, I guess. I feel like sometimes people, when they think forever, they don't think, they don't really know what forever means because kids nowadays, they, they say, yeah, yeah, I'm forever, forever, this and that. And then once they're in, they know, oh shit, this is for real, and then they want to get out, you know? They don't really think about it. It's either either you're in it and you're all, you're all in it or you're not in it. If you're not, you gotta go, you know? It's, well, that was my review, man. Uh, man, it was, uh, it was something. Uh, it took me back, you know, uh, you could tell I, some parts I was just lost, man. It still, it hits you like that. The background music was amazing. Nice lo-fi tempo. Uh, the scenery was beautiful. The Man. It, it's, I don't know how to feel about this. But it's a lovely documentary. And it will forever be one of my favorites. Shout out to Frank Blasquez. And stay tuned. <laughs> I'll be back with another review. Peace.